go across the country. Start a party for my good friend, Rashad, Rashida, come on, let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, Thank you, give it up for Angry Bob one more time. What's up, nice little truckers? You think she said some racist shit? I'm about to blow your fucking mind. Do it! What's up, brother? I got some redemption today. See, I had to bring my weed sales man, because I own about $50. <laughs> Alright, that's how that's going. Shit, how you doing? Where did y'all meet? Thismatch.com? Like, what the hell is this? Y'all did too, man. This some Craigslist bullshit going on around here, man. What, what is happening? What's up, E Harmony couple sitting over here on Quiet? You was a nasty motherfucker for burping and shit. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you fucking him? Like, that's, that's my question. We just worked together, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I see that. I know. We got a that. You burping like that. She only need to give you head. She don't need to be getting pregnant by you. Nothing. I don't know where this shit. Yeah, you like a little white girl over here talking about, yeah, I'm the black Gucci fucking, and I'm Jamaican, all right? You put that shit. Yeah, yeah. Bump a gut. Put that river. Oh, shit, man. Any of you guys, like, spend, like, a lot of time in New York? Yeah. You ever been on the train? You see these street performers? I look like one of them motherfuckers, right? I look, I look like I'm about to sell you Eminem or some shit. About to break dance or some bullshit. Skittles! Like, I got on the train one time and I had a bag of M&M's in my hand and I dropped it. And this, like, white dude picked it up, but instead of giving the M&M's back, this motherfucker gave me a dollar. Like, what the? Why would you do some shit like that? Like, this shit is fucked up, man. Like, I'm like, shit, I ain't gonna shit. He gave my dollar back. I ain't gotta buy no more damn M&M's. That's all I know. Like, like, without the hat, I look like I know at least five white people. Like, you know. I put the hat on, I look like I'm about to freestyle on 106 and Park. Like, I don't get this shit. I don't know. French dudes over here. Y'all look like yeah. the fuck. Yeah. Hey. They look like the henchmen in Taken. Like, you ever saw that movie? <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah. We don't know, Jean Claude. <laughs> French people don't brush their damn jeans. I mean, they're doing this talking to me. This brush so damn right, it looked like Chinese subtitles coming out of his mouth. Like, I didn't get this shit. I don't fucking know. I tell you a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit happened to me on the train. Like, one time I was on there, and I had seen a break dancer dude. They had just finished doing their set. But then what happened was, the dude with the Eminem, like, just got on. And everybody looked at him like... Dude, he just, we just gave him fucking money. You just gonna get on here, man? You gotta take the local now. Then the Chinese dude with the batteries that came on, you know that motherfucker? You got the red bag and shit. He done had the same old Rubik's Cube for like 10 years. He ain't saw that shit yet. He get on the, he get on here with that little plastic bell and say, Battery, one dollar, yo, yo, two dollar, wale. What you got for him? <laughs> yeah. Buffalo! Buffalo, yeah, what's up, Buffalo? Pennsylvania, alright, you guys are Eagles fans, aren't you? You guys are like auction hunters, like, I don't know what's around this. You guys are cool, any you guys married? No! No, yeah, that's right. You smart! You have twice divorced. Twice divorced, man. How long was, how long was the relationship, though? 11 years. 11 years, you know what, I'm about to say some true shit right now. Do it! You've been married 11 years. Now, you won't believe me when I tell you this. When your ex-wife calls your phone and you see who's calling, did you curse her out before you picked up? Sometimes. My black dude right here knows what the fuck he's talking about. You know what the hell I'm talking about. You see that phone, it's like, you went, God damn! Oh. Why the fuck do you keep paying your cell phone bill, bitch? Stop calling me! You pick up the phone and be like, hey, babe, what's up? Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> yeah? You want me to go talk to your dad? <laughs> I'm gonna go to your dad? <laughs> All right. I love you too. That's what 
what we do, man. It's a lot of shit. Y'all, like, how long y'all been together? Three years. All right. I'm about to say some other true shit. That sharing shit? Get that shit out the fucking window, all right? Throw that shit out. Like, how long y'all been together? Y'all look like friends, man. Come on, man. Don't, don't fucking play with me. We can't go back to the husband her. First day. These dudes right here, they're going to be in a new porno and shit. They're going to be... They're going to be taking it in the ass and heckling comments like all night. That's what the fuck they're going to be doing. But back to the three-year couple right here. You know that you know this is some extra shit. Like, in the first couple of months of a relationship, like, sitting on our lap is cool. Does she ever do that without your permission? She ever, your wife, she ever sit on your lap without permission? You ever had that shit? Because what's the first thing, fellas, we got to do every time she wants to sit on our lap? Take all the shit out of our pockets, pens, car keys, loose chains, cell phone. We got to move shit out the way so she can sit down. Ladies, there's a space right next to us, okay? Sit in it. She's like, hey, can I sit in like that? Fuck, again? Sam, there's a space right here, goddammit. Don't get this shit, man. And don't like sharing shit. Like, she ever shared, she ever took something from you and you didn't want to take it? You don't share. You don't share. Alright, that's why they got separate drinks. Like, you go to McDonald's, you get a large fries. You want, y'all both order it, but you order first and your shit come out first. You get your bag. First thing she gonna do is stick her hand in the bag and get some fries. Like, bitch, get your hand out of my bag. Stop eating my goddamn fries. What the fuck is wrong with you? Buffalo, y'all don't have McDonald's out there? It's just cold out there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Should have just started doing some racist shit. Yeah, the bourbon motherfucker's about to leave, dude. He's like, look, let's get out of here. The black guy is scaring me. He's the only one I've seen all night. <laughs> Bullshit, man. Want to share a little, share a little something about myself? You know, like you know, black people they don't be naming their kids the right names and shit. You know what I'm talking about? You from the fucking project? Don't act all budgie because you're a substitute teacher here. <clears throat> your fucking GED tutor is right there. You want me to? The fuck is wrong with you, man? But like black people, they don't be naming their kids the right names and shit. Like my name is Rashad Bashir. Like that's a very culture name. It's a very Arabic name. It's not like I'm about to blow some shit up. Like I could go up to Delhi and get a hero sandwich with a free can of soda. Like this shit is crazy. <laughs> like Rashad Bashir, I sound like one of them African cabs. I know I'm going to drop a cab and do comedy. You ever see these African cabs out in Times Square? They pull up to you like, look, look, they tell you how to do it, they did. I gotta do it, I'm a French guy. If you're not gonna take your back to our prison, I'll take your back to our food. Wait, come, 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 your girl call you up. Like, baby, can you um, go to the and see we got some Chanel to laugh from here? I don't see. I know two twins. Their names is Maurice and Marifa. There was a kid in my class in third grade. His name was Denzel L. L. Cool J. Jordan. Like, how the fuck did you put all that shit on the attendance sheet? I'll tell you this little story. I was on the train one time. You see this lady. She was with her son. Something about six, he had a little David Mustard's teddy bear prize showing it to everybody, humping on it. And he was really excited. But I was, I was never, it touched my heart because I was like, that's a mother out with her son. That's cool. I went up to her, I complimented her. She was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then I asked her, I'm like, Miss, by the way, what's your son's name? She said, Rendezvous. I'm like, wait a minute. Of all the black names I could think of, this shit did not cross my mind. I'm like, this bitch thought outside the box. So I decided to spell this shit out. I'm like, Rendezvous. I'm like, R E N D. I'm like, this is Rendezvous. That's not Rendezvous. She just named her son a military rally point. Did you believe that shit? But guys, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to leave you with this last joke. Did you know that the uh, doctors have found a new medicine for depressed lesbians? Yes. It's called Try Dick Again. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the shit. That's my time. I'm out of here.